Rebecca. Hello, and today we will talk about another so, video from this, Earth. This video will talk about permafrost. Permafrost is any ground that remains completely frozen from 32 Fahrenheit degrees, or which is zero Check. Celsius, or below that, which is freezing cold, enough to turn coming. water into ice for at least two years straight. The layers of dirt will remain frozen for two years straight or more. These permanently frozen grounds are not most are most common in regions with high mountains and high latitudes. Near the north, near the north or south poles. Permafrost is any ground that remains completely frozen. Maybe negative 32 Fahrenheit or zero degree or colder. In the Alaskan tundra, much of it is permafrost. The sign for permafrost about to go away or coin is when you saw shapes and pattern of polygons. So what are permafrost made of? Permafrost is made up of combination of soil, rock, sand, and that are held together by ice. The soil and ice in, perma in permafrost stay frozen all year long. Near the surface, permafrost soils also contain large quantity of organic carbon and material left over from dead plants that could not decompose or rot. Due to the cold, lower permafrost layers contain most contain soils mostly of minerals. A layer soil at the top usually tastes unfrozen. It wouldn't stay frozen for two years or maybe a longer, but at least two years is too long. The top layer will get more heat from the sun, so it will stay frozen for a little more time, maybe a few months or a few years not two years it will melt away in the summer or the autumn or the spring but in the autumn fall and winter they froze again sometimes in the frozen in the colder regions the ground rarely thaws even in the summer the active layer is very thin only four to six inches wide which is 10 to 15 centimeters. In warmer permafrost regions, the active layer can be several meters thick. Below that is a large layer of permafrost. How does climate change affect permafrost? As Earth's climate warms, the permafrost is thawing. As it thaws, that means the ice inside the permafrost melts, leaving behind water and soil. Thawing permafrost can have dramatic impact on our planet and the things living on it. For example, many northern villages are built on permafrost. When permafrost is frozen, it is hard like harder than cement. However, thawing permafrost can destroy houses, roads, and other infrastructure. When permafrost is frozen, plant material and the soil called organic carbon can't decompose or rot away as permafrost falls. Microbes begin decomposing this material. This process releases greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane into the atmosphere. When per permafrost falls, so do Asian bacteria and viruses in the ice and soil. These newly unfrozen microbes could make humans and animals very sick. This would be like a something that is a living thing and then frozen. It could stay for as long as 400,000 years and then unfrozen. Still alive. It's 22 hours. Scientists has discovered microbes more than 400,000 years old in tall permafrost. Because of this danger, scientists are closely monitoring Earth's permafrost. Scientists use satellite observations from space to look at large regions.
fusion of permafrost that would be difficult to study from the ground. And that is for today's video. I talk about permafrost. So goodbye.